people were starting to pour in. We about to go get our swim game on. <laughs> While they pouring in, we about to swim. Yep. It's gonna be on. On, on, and popping. We are headed up to the pool to enjoy the pool. Uh, a hundred and it has to be a hundred and nine degrees. Well, it is. We read it early in the truck. It, it's it's a hundred. Yep, it's over a hundred. Yeah. yeah. So this video, we getting away from what Ashanti was taking us to because she liked to be the park reviewer. Uh uh. We getting back to the vlog. How we used the vlog. I'm how we just show. Park how Trust we me. used to show us having fun at the park yep. instead of running around and talking about bathroom park yep. bathrooms and i'm still going to show you that too but not on my watch yes on your watch i won't be watching you i know be putting it in there too <laughs> <laughs> or you don't get no food see see there guys see how low she can go that's right i cook myself okay you'll be starving <laughs> so hot out here. I just got out of the pool and started sweating already. I mean, the water is hot. So, this is relaxing. Today is Friday. Had a great weekend, even though it was very hectic at work. You know how that is, you guys. And now we are just relaxing. And we are relaxing in the beautiful state of Tennessee. And we're at a really nice park. Very big rig friendly, family oriented, but having fun. I like that everybody is out, everybody's enjoying themselves and having a great time. Hope you guys are having a good one too. Cheers. This feels wonderful. Feel wonderful? Yes, it's very cool and nice. The water actually feel warm to me. It's like just getting in something wet, but it's still warm. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, it's about 100. It's 170 degrees. Yeah. So, the, so the water just feel wet. Like I got in it, and as soon as I got out, I started sweating again. Uh, but I am enjoying it. And like when you come to these resorts, you gotta take a, you gotta take advantage of the amenities as well because you're paying for it. So you gotta get out. You gotta get in the water. You gotta whatever amenities they have, like that. Even that kitty. That kitty uh, splash over there. You gonna get it? I'm getting the kitty splash too. <laughs> I'm gonna get my money worth. I'm glad Shanti don't got me running around this park looking at this and looking at that. It feel good not to review and do us back to the old adventure bandits being adventurous. We're doing the review, y'all. Because that's what I like. I like to know that someone's bathroom is clean and I like to see what I'm getting into before I get here. And there's no videos on this park. So yes, I'm absolutely doing it. I think if, if you agree with me, um, go to the description box. I think Shanti got away from the adventure. Our first name is Adventure. I know everybody calls us the bandits, but our first name is Adventure. Shanti just wanted to be a bandit. That's it. I'm the one that came up with the name. I allowed you to be in the club. So actually, I'm gonna kick you out. Shanti is in a club that she has no control on. <laughs> That's the funny thing about well, it. I just kicked you out. You're no longer part of the adventure band. Hey, she kicked me out. How y'all gonna get the videos? Who gonna be holding the camera? Me. You're not gonna hold no me? camera. I do it now. No, you don't. Oh, so that's your arm stretching all the way across 
to my side of the window. You know that she's talking about the truck because I told her to get the footage of when we going to. Yeah, you are talking about the truck. Me. You want to take credit for everything. It's, you know what? That's a shame. I bet you there's other spouses that are out there that can relate to what I'm saying. It's your idea, but yet he wants to come and take all the credit. That's you. She gonna say it's your idea, but yet you want to take all the credit. No, it's my idea. Oh, it's your idea. But you want to take all the credit, or you'll do something and you want to take all the credit. What is wrong with you? Are you act like the only child? She's she's a she's a, I would do something, but I want to take all the credit. <laughs> no, I said I will do it, oh, you and do you it. want to take all the credit. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you you trying to play I now? I thought you talking about me. I am talking about you. Secret is to get into these. You gotta put it in the I don't know if it's gonna work out the way I planned it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. oh, you look like you were struggling right there. That water is salty. That water is salty. I wonder why. Had it. You almost had it. Oh wow! I didn't touch oh, wow. it. I didn't touch it. I hate to see it. what success would be. Then. No, no. 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 You, you just roll in it. Huh? Roll into it. No, uh, no, roll into it. No, what I wanted to do is just have this as my bar. Like my cup right roll here. into it, babe. No, I want it like this. I don't want to get in. I want to get in the water. So that's like my bar right here. Right? Okay. It's a lounger though, you know that, right? I know. Okay. If I wanted to submerge my body. This park has at least 200 sites and at least four bathhouses that I've counted so far. Have not gone into them. It has a pavilion with a fireplace where you can all meet and that is close to the swimming pool. They do live bands on Saturday and karaoke on Friday. And so, so I can sing tonight. Oh, yeah. You can sing, and I'm going to record it and cheer it. Wow. Yes, you can sing, babe. And it has a nice park. It has a dog park. Uh, again, you can bring your boat. You can rent pontoon boat, or you can even bring jet skis. But they are connected to a marina so that's a good thing too uh nice size pool not too big has a baby splash uh, very big rig friendly and it overlooks a nice beautiful lake so you can get backup sites and the backup sites are pretty nice uh, we have a double uh premium site well we have a premium site which is a double padded area and a fire pit um some of them are a little uh on the thinner side but those are just your standard sites and you can still get a backup uh site even if it's standard as well you're right about that but check it out guys you see this these little loungers I know we're gonna get axed, so I'm gonna tell you where we got them from. Walmart. And they're not our sponsors. Walmart do not sponsor the Adventure Bandits. <laughs> but anyway, we got these for Walmart. Yeah, those are nice. Eight nine bucks. dollars. Yeah, eight eight ninety nine or something like that. Well, it's nine dollars. She said eight bucks when it was nine dollars. Even though it was eight 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 ninety nine, that means nine dollars. <laughs> but yep, these are cool though. We like them. What you think? I like them. Since I can't swim, this is perfect for me. Yep, she can float. Mm -hmm. Good morning. It is 
the main day of the Saturday. A weekend warrior day, but if you look, a lot of these people had left already. Good back end sites. People left these nice sites. The reason why they left. The reason why they left is because it rained last night. A little thunderstorm scared everybody away. So all these sites that, that came available over a little thunder. So since we've been down here in Tennessee, it has been raining every day. I mean, it's a thunderstorm every day. It's been in the 90s, 95, so you're gonna get those thunderstorms. So we actually got used to it. You know, it rained for a little bit, then it get hot and humid again. Four hours later, it rains again, then it get hot and humid again. That's just how I've been here. But I never let a little thunder scare me away from a, a day of camping. So this is what we got here. I have started breaking down our site. I'm gonna put a lot of this stuff up because we've been here ever since Thursday. Huh? So I'm gonna put a lot of this stuff up like our, our tables and um, we had those floaties out last night. Um, when we went to the pool. So a lot of this stuff goes up on, you know, I'm gonna put it up because it's gonna rain throughout the day because we just came up with something else that we would like to do. We would like to head back to Kentucky get an early start tomorrow morning which is Sunday get back up there try to go visit the ark and try to go hit another distillery so I want to break as much down as possible because we got a four-hour trip tomorrow so the earliest we leave we can leave the earliest we can get about our day once we arrive at the campground that we choose <music> Packing up, we about to get out of here. We got everything broke down. All I got to do is put in the chairs and everything. A couple things I want to share about this park. Um, well, not so much about the park, about our stay here. Um, it been it has been in like 95, nine, uh, 20, 95 to 100. I mean, the weather has been so crazy. It gets so hot where you don't want to come outside of your RV. Um, then, at a, next thing you know, you have a big, huge thunderstorm, just winds blowing, RV rocking back and forth, going crazy. So we wasn't able to get a lot of vlogging done because of that, the conditions. And just our whole stay here, while being in Tennessee, it just had been hot. Too hot to, get, to, to really get out and enjoy yourself. A um, little couple things about this park. I like how they got the gravel here for when you're turning it onto your site. You can actually go across the rock instead. You can, you gotta, you gotta, you, you can actually turn across the rock to make it much easier to um, to get onto your site. Because the reason why? Because the streets are so narrow. Look how narrow these streets are. They're one way, so only one car can come down at a time. You can't go both ways when it comes to this. So you get a lot of time when people backing in and trying to get in a site, there'll be a whole line of um, cars and RVs behind them waiting to pass. I mean, that's the thing about it. Another thing about this park that I noticed, do you see these stones back here that they built up with? There's a lot, there's a lot of mice that be running in, in between these stones. We noticed that last night while sitting out by the fire. Another thing while sitting out by the fire, they do not clean the fire pits here. So you have trash all in your fire pit when you first arrive. They do not go around cleaning fire pits or anything like that. Um, to me, this park like to go up under resort, but it feel more like a state park, but a state park a little more, I say a little more cleaner and got actually people working. This park is supposed to be a resort. So when you think about a resort, you thinking about um, an event coordinator or um, activity director or something like that, 
you think about a lot of stuff to do at that park where instead of just a pool and having a band at night you thinking about other things that you can do you know like a store like a little mini store on on camp on the um campground or like a somewhere you can eat at on the campground that's more resorty this is like i would just say this is camping with a pool i wouldn't call it a resort that's just my opinion on it that's just my take some people will call it a, re a resort because they got a pool it'll take more than a pool to call something a resort i think Well, today is our last day here. It was a great visit. Um, we more so just relaxed. We enjoyed the pool and uh, we just enjoyed our sight. And sometimes when you're camping, that's basically all that you really wanna do. Uh, I would have to say this park was probably one of the parks that um, we really uh, didn't really speak to nobody. Uh, we said a couple of highs here and there, but they were mainly to themselves. And I think the reason why is because you have a lot of seasonals here. So when you have a lot of seasonals here, the park uh, environment is more so, you know, on the quiet side because they're used to talking to whomever they deal with when they're here camping. But other than that, I would say this is big rig friendly. However, when you're turning in to some of the sites, the sites you're gonna have to cut in real sharp if your trailer is long and they have uh, rocks so that you can do that. So um, if you're long, you'll be able to get into them, but you're gonna have to make some tight turns to get into your site. Uh, I like the fact that they do trash pickup. They have a pool decent sized pool not too big but not too small they have a baby splash area they have a pavilion um, where if you want to start a fireplace or have a big gathering they have that over there and then they have shuffleboard they have corn hole um, as far as activities uh, they do have a kids playground which I think it's very nice that you could tell it's rather new and um, yeah that's about it in a dog park so would we come back here uh, if we had maybe a stop through we would probably come back here for one day or so um, we really didn't get out on a pontoon boat but if you're gonna stay here for a longer period of time you may want to consider uh, renting a pontoon boat uh, so that it can get you out on the waters which is that way they have a lot of sites that do back up to the water and those are pretty nice and they're beautiful um, <laughs> as you can tell the kids are enjoying and playing but uh, it's a decent park Those are just the restrooms, so it appears that they may have separate facilities at one time, so not too bad. Uh, this is the laundry room. Let's check that out. Standard looking laundry room. bad maybe a, a little touch up like a modernized well the shower room was locked so very interesting I don't know if they have a shower room or not but 
Uh, they do have a dog park. They have areas where you can enjoy a nice picnic or whatever. And again, a playground for the kids. So where we did park, it is pretty deep. I would have to say, if you have a big rig in the 60s, you can definitely fit. No problems, no issues. And if you would like to see what a water site looks like and what you back up to, this is a perfect one right here. Site 92. So basically your 80s and your 90s will give you a view of the lake that's here. This is not our new stop, but when we were driving, we did not feel comfortable with the hitch. It kept pushing us forward, and typically it doesn't do that. Yeah, actually, uh, when, I, when I stopped, it's like the trailer ramming into the back of the truck. Last time it was doing that, the hitch broke. So I'm not taking no chances. We're gonna reset this hitch. We're gonna take it all apart. I guess the moral of this story is if you typically um, have a good, you know, connection and you're driving along, but another time something just does not feel right please take the time to reset up if you have to because it could be a costly mistake and this is the one that will this is the main reason why we got the pro pride and it was because of safety so okay I didn't force the stinger into the hitch. Um, the stinger is the part that sits inside of my of my um, my hitch on the truck. So they, they, it's called a stinger because actually it goes inside of the main hitch. So last time I forced it in and I cranked it until it clamped on. This time I didn't do that. Much different. Much different feel. It feel like it's one unit all over again. So. We're back on the road again. And this is the learning lesson for anybody that got a travel trailer that actually got a pro pride hitch. Something, you know, you can take into consideration. Yeah. I I would also say if any hitch, if something doesn't feel right yeah. and that it it it's it goes against the norm. Yeah, pull stop. over, pull over, better safe than sorry. Yeah. 
drive safe. We got a long trip back. We are actually headed to back to Kentucky. We think we're gonna hang out in Kentucky for a day or so. Um, probably hit another distillery. We had so much fun. But we're leaving from Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, we're leaving from Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I gotta ask Ashanti this. Put the camera on yourself. Um, what did you think about the park? What did you think about our experience down here? I loved the water park and that first park that we went to, even though I probably did not like the cleanliness of that park. There are other parks around it, but I love that water park. Um, I liked the best park that I think we stayed in was the Nashville KOA, um, only because it was clean. Um, actually, we're getting ready to pass it right now. So actually, two miles, every park for I that we stayed in, they were basically close by. So if I was to ever come back to that water park or want to go visit that water park, I would probably stay at the KOA and pay a little bit extra for the water park. I think it's $10 for the seasonal pass or $20 additional for the seasonal pass. Um, I think what's so good about the KOA? That's it right there. Yeah, what's so that's good right. about it is it has a pool already yes. and it has a big pool, not the little small pool. So it has a nice size pool. So you can actually get in the pool and cool off, or you can go to the water park and cool off. Exactly. So we, we actually learned something. Yep. Now, the park that we were just at, I would say it was okay if you're wanting to. Again, go to the water park and maybe um, maybe entertain renting a pontoon boat and hanging out. It was big rig friendly. It was a little bit more on the cleaner side than the actual first park, but it really so, didn't have a lot of excitement. So, um, so it had, tell them which park that is as an Elm Hill. That's an Elm Hill. Home. And it was, I think it was because there's more seasonal uh, residents there. Look at the train go by. So for Elm Hill, there were more seasonal. And they just, they weren't too friendly. They weren't, um, you didn't really meet a lot of, you know, it was kind of boring there. Um, it, it, it actually, you hit the nail on the head. It was a boring park. Yeah. Keep left at the fork to continue. It was a on very boring park, and I would not put it as a resort. I would say that was just, that's just a campground. Yeah. It's not a resort. It don't yeah. have a resort vibe, but they're charging that resort price. Yeah. Um, it don't it don't give you that resort feel. They don't have the restaurants. It don't have it don't have. Um, the stores that you know most parks got they don't have like activity director I, I talked about all this stuff earlier it has no general store mm -hmm. it, it, yes it's just a place you go into they got a pool and they label it a resort it's not a resort it's a campground yeah so so you're gonna pay resort prices for a campground and the pool is not that big it's it's, it's like a medium size no really you know, no chairs you know right. they don't give you enough chairs to sit in i mean it's like they do bare minimum yes then like she said there's no excitement at that park we were bored yeah we slept so much because we had nothing to do and i know <laughs> so. i know you guys said well you could you could have got off the campground and went downtown nashville there's plenty there's plenty to do down there like you know from what we heard there bars and restaurants we don't really do that stuff when we're in a, at home in Ohio so yeah we don't we, go we're to not, bars yeah we don't come down we, we're not gonna go camping and do that while camping yeah. as far as the Grand Ole Opry that's something that I'm not into because it's, a, it's actually before my time but my wife she it was around her time so she she probably wanted to go there but it's throwing you know. shade but it's okay <laughs> but she probably wanted to go I there. did See, yeah. <laughs> I did. I wanted to see it. That's our time. Whatever. So I don't really know nothing about it, so hey. He's what? a mess, y'all. 
anyway, um, we're on our way back. Uh, we don't know what we're gonna but do. We're going, we, we're going we, back, but we can have some fun at it again. We're going yeah. back to Kentucky. We're gonna stay at a different yeah. campground there. We're gonna go back to uh, a couple of parks in Ohio where we have planned, and then we're gonna go shoot up to PA and uh, MD, Maryland, and maybe even hit up some New York or uh, some other other spots up north. Anyway, uh, if you have not already done so, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to us, consider, consider hitting that red button. We would truly appreciate it. And uh, 